Yeah, five seconds a lap slower than Timmy Hansen's um, fastest lap from yesterday, but nevertheless, different track. Here we go. You know, Mark, as we can see here, over the jump, he's taking this much more gingerly than yesterday after breaking that part. Obviously, it's going to leave a sour taste in your mouth, but here, as you can see, he's struggling. Probably used a little bit of handbrake, but the car still didn't want to turn, but as we see, over the finish line, takes the win. Andrew got a start, great start, yeah. didn't he? But Shame for Shishri. They've had good starts, Pro Drive GCK, so far. And he was wide there into the first corner, you know, probably a bit of frustration just getting to him, obviously not getting a great start again. But absolutely right thing to do, Joker first lap. Surface here, Guy, what are you seeing? I mean, it's still pretty slippery, isn't it? Look, at, look, they're waiting, waiting, waiting. It's cleaning, though. Yeah. It, 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 you know how they said it was slippery, Mark said it was slippery. You can see it's actually cleaning. They're getting grip earlier and earlier. Andrew Jordan there taking the, uh, the tidier line on the way into the Joker lap. We saw uh, varying approaches to it yesterday, sideways and super tidy. They're all good. So let's have a look at this. We might see the last move as well that me and Guy missed. Apologies. Mark, look, look, look at this. Look coming at from the Arnold. outside across to Hawaii. Balmain has got tagged there too, didn't he? Yes, he did. He's not having the best weekend, to be honest. Yeah, Anton just trying to get across the five position, but uh, maybe asking a little bit too much. A couple of strong cars there, guys. Well, that's, that's long, hard contact on the suspension down to turn one. Also, tyre contact and, and both cars still in one piece. So. Absolutely. I, I want to see how Robin Larson got past uh, Tommy Rustad. Yeah, we do. So this was Rustad over the jump. Now, Rustad will joker on the next lap, and we should see them tight together. This might be the finish. There they are through the joker. So, OK. Here we Stand go. Oh, oh, nice, mega. Robin Larson. What a pass. Opportunist. He was really ready good. to jump on that, wasn't that he? That corner's off camber two. You normally got to be quite patient on the throttle, but he's got on the gas and just lit it up straight up the inside. But everyone super sideways in the bottom hairpin. It's still tricky out there. OK, another look at the start then. So sensible stuff from Lowe here. He was clean from everyone. Everybody was sensible. Sebastian got his nose ahead, but decided, you know, on the outside, I'm going to slot back in behind Johan. He knows Johan and trusts him. His pace is going to be fast. Just want to trip himself off. That, that right hand there at turn two, you know, before the left, before the jump, it, to go around the outside there, you, you've got to, you've really always got to be half a car in front, haven't you, to be able to pull it off. The whole way from turn one, you yeah, have to be yeah. half a car in front. If you're level, it's not enough, is it? Because you just end up in a wall. Yeah, it's not going to happen. They just shut the door on you. So, Christopherson and Loeb, masterclass in driving. One race still to go. Will the time stay? Guy, well, you know, it's 70 metres, and he, look, he's cutting across. He's got a car length in 50 to 70 metres. That was absolutely so bang on, a Bang on on the settings and, yes. a, and a good reaction time, clearly. Great reaction time, bang on the settings, a little bit of wheel spin, then traction. So I'll watch on board here. Watch see if we... You can ah, see okay. the gloves as well. Note the gloves with the Union flag on. Uh, Peter always has uh, the flag of the country he's racing on on his gloves. This right was the sideways uh, there in the joker. It, it was the dirt here. You see where he's tr trying. If there's just that bit of dirt. And he, even without it, I think if Hansen was pulling another gear, he would have outdragged him to the line. He it wasn't where he lost it. Side. Timmy, Timmy, was, it was. Timmy was just driving faster lap times. He was more consistent. Here are the standings then after three of four qualifying sessions. Peter Solberg took Q1, but Timmy Hansen took Q2, but it is Johan Christofferson who takes Q3. Ekstrom there in P3, hasn't won any of the sessions, but has been there all the while. Sebastian Loeb is fifth, Andreas Backward is sixth, so we maintain uh, the same form we had in Belgium with the factory cars right at the top. Nicolas Granholm's gone up one place ahead of Kevin Hansen. Great job by him. Jerome Grossejean, Kevin Eriksson, Tommy Rustad and Timothy Timoziarnov are currently in. Robin Larson said he'd beaten the people he needed to beat, but you can see he's just not quite there, that little points difference, but it's still going to be close for the final slots in the semi-finals.